Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be filming or I'm going to be talking about my social anxiety and I have this idea. Sorry, I'm in pajamas. Like, I just feel like I need to mention it. I know these are pajamas. This is like the start of like a series or like I guess you could call it like a diary of my like social anxiety and um, the purpose of this is that in a few months I'm going to make another one. So like in june or may i'm going to make another one of these and i'm going to talk about like my biggest um like challenges and what i want to accomplish you know my goals at that time and just talk about you know what my social anxiety is like at that time so i can hopefully <laughs> see progress and um, i don't know this is kind of for like anyone who has social anxiety who maybe wants to know some goals or just I don't know hear about somebody else with social anxiety <laughs> so that's basically what this series or diary is going to be so this is the first episode which means we're gonna have to go into like a little bit of backstory <laughs> some lore of me i started having social anxiety in like a few months after 2016 started i don't know so it was like fifth grade was when my anxious brain just like turned on like it was kind of on before that like i would get anxious about little things but in fifth grade it like it, it was like the power turned on a little bit when i was a kid and then in fifth grade it went like all the way up things made me anxious that like never made me anxious before when a thought would get stuck in my head i couldn't get it out like it was all i thought about so basically when i was in fifth grade i don't know i was just very insecure insecure <laughs> i had um a speech impediment which um, as a kid, I didn't really, like, notice. Like, people, they wouldn't really make fun of me, but they would mimic me, is what I'd always say. Um, and just kind of, like, repeat what I said and then, like, laugh. So that's usually what happened before, and I never, like, saw a problem with it before then. It was just kind of, like, annoying um, to me. But, like, in fifth grade, and it was, like, the first time that they were, like, making fun of me, and I felt bad about myself after after that day everything that i would do in school like um answering questions like i no longer wanted to raise my hand and um i no longer wanted to like say anything especially with ours i would always like get rid of it in my work <laughs> if i knew i had to like say it out loud and it's just like i was always thinking about it like 24 7 and it just wouldn't go away so now all i thought about was how i sounded i just felt really bad about myself and i didn't like it so i didn't talk a lot and speak and everything i did because like you know like talking is like kind of like everything especially in school like you gotta talk to all these people so that's basically how i started having social anxiety because i didn't like talking and i was just scared that like i was annoying to everyone and i just didn't want to speak and have someone else say anything else so in fifth grade did not like going to school that was the year i decided i did not like school i don't think i've ever really liked school i always like loved to miss it like it was like my favorite thing when i was sick and i knew i could stay home before then um and like it still is like i kind of get excited when i get sick because i'm like yes i don't have to go to school that's when my i started like avoiding a lot of my anxiety instead of facing it so like i wouldn't go to school a lot <laughs> which obviously caused a lot of problems because after this year was over, it was sixth grade. I was really excited about middle school because I like, I don't know why I have this thing like every single year where I think that this is gonna be like the year, like it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna like make a friend and then all of a sudden I'm gonna like become really social and talk to everyone and just like never feel anxious again and just like really com feel really comfortable. Um, however, that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> I didn't have the best attendance, like I would always miss a lot of days and whenever I missed a day it was because I was anxious about something and there was something that I either like put off to last minute so that it wasn't done because I was just thinking about it instead of actually doing it. Like a, a homework assignment that I knew I was going to have to share to the class or like a presentation, like I would just think about it but like I wouldn't start it so that when the time came I I would just be like, I can't go because I don't have it done. Um, so yeah, that caused me to be absent quite a bit. Um, never got truancy, no, though. I think that was part because I had to talk to counselors a lot. 
but the biggest thing I would say was like in middle school I would say like presentations that, that was my biggest thing and I mean like it's probably like the scariest for like everyone I would always just like cl I don't know if clam up is like the right word like I don't even know what that like really means so I don't know if I should use it <laughs> but yeah so I'd like clam up and like I would just get like sweaty um and like my whole my face and my neck like everything was just red like I would be like shaking I would hold the paper up like this and my eyes would be stuck and only looking down and I would still be shaking so I'd be shaking and my face would be red and I'd be stuttering so that's how middle school went <laughs> so I just didn't like presentations I didn't like group work I would miss school um to avoid doing things that made me anxious that was pretty much it and then I was really excited for high school <laughs> because I was like oh my god this is a new beginning this is a new start I don't know I just thought I would like walk in and then I would just start talking to everyone in my classes and then I would make a friend in this class like everywhere I go I would just talk I, I don't know why I had such high hopes for myself because like I've never done that in my life if you put me in someplace new I'm gonna only be talking to someone because I don't want to look like I'm by myself or alone anyways high school happened on the first day of high school I threw up <laughs> because I was anxious I was really you know excited to start and have all this new these new classes and um it was still the same people that I went to middle school with so it wasn't like anybody knew but like I don't know I was excited for it but I was also really anxious so I threw up on the first day of high school <laughs> and then I went and had my first year which was 2020 I mean 2019 to 2020 if you're older than like seventh and you know what happened um, but basically I just had a fine year it was like pretty normal um, presentation so sucked I would miss things that make me anxious um, However, other than that, I was going pretty good. However, like right before COVID, I don't know why, but I got like, I got like really depressed and I would just like start like crying all the time. Also, like at this point, I like switched my meds um, because I was depressed and everything. I took Prozac from like fifth grade to freshman year. Freshman year, I started lowering my pills because I went to my um normal doctor like the one that i see like every year instead of a natural psychiatrist because you know i just had been going to appointments and saying okay it's fine it's fine um so then my normal doctor started like lowering my prescription well that's probably why i started to get like depressed but anyways covid happened and i was really excited that i could miss school in march there was this possibility that we would have like two weeks of no school. I just couldn't stop thinking about this. I was so excited. I was like, please do, please do. And yeah, that happened. And then we had the rest of the year off. At the moment, I thought it was great, but it really wasn't. I thought it would be like amazing and I thought it'd be great because I'll be like less anxious and all that stuff. However, it was, it made my comfort zone a lot smaller because I wasn't going to school at all. All my classes were online, so I didn't have to talk to anyone. I didn't have to sit with anyone at lunch. I just kind of just like isolated myself and I just like didn't talk to anyone. I just stopped doing anything that made me anxious. Then sophomore year happened, which I went online, even though we had a choice to do hybrid or completely online. And I chose completely online because of my grandparents, um, because they live with us. And I was like, oh yes, I can say that. They have like their own like room and stuff so it wouldn't if i was sick you know i would have been able to like stay away from them however like i chose this option to stay online completely because i really just wanted to not go back <laughs> and i was like you know online school is easier i can cheat in all my classes i can i mean that was kind of it <laughs> it was just i wouldn't really have to learn anything I could just have all of the things up and then take my test and Google all my answers and it was just easy and you know and then that year I didn't talk to anyone. I remember during this time like 
when we started hanging out with people again, like we had like friends over and I would ju I just started crying. <laughs> it was, it, I would always shower whenever I cry. Like that's like something I still do. Like if I'm like crying or I'm upset, then I'll take a shower and then I'll just cry. I felt more depressed than anxious, if that made sense, when like stuff like that would happen. Because of this, my social anxiety had gotten a lot worse. And you know, I wasn't talking to a lot of people. I wasn't even like, you know, like going to school, which is something that I've had trouble with in the past, like actually getting to school. So since I had this year and a half to basically be home by myself and not go to school, it pushed back, I guess in a way you could say like my progress. When junior year happens, I was, you know, excited because I had this hope that I would <laughs> walk in and make a bunch of friends and not care what anyone thinks. That didn't happen, however, I started talking to my friends again and I started hanging out with them and doing stuff. So I was a lot less depressed and I was happier. However, like during that time, I was still like crying and <laughs> still like anxious about just like the usual things. Like there was always something I was anxious about. Like if you would ask me like, what are you anxious about? I would like tell you like something that's coming up. Like, oh, tomorrow I have this project or tomorrow I have to do this group work, or tomorrow I don't know who I'm going to sit with at lunch. I just always had something that made me anxious on my mind 24-7, and it was kind of just like a shock, like going back. I could see like many ways that my anxiety was worse. There was like this one class, and there were like two like older kids who like joke around with me. My face would get totally red, and they thought of it as basically me liking one of them. However, it wasn't that. <laughs> it was just because I hated like having the attention on me and I don't know why, but like having these new people that I've I don't know that well and they're talking about me and making these new jokes with me and I know they're like they're not like trying to do it to like make fun of me, but they're obviously like just joking. But my face would just get really red. I would just start blushing. Honestly, like kind of saw that was like the year of me blushing every like 5 seconds. Whenever somebody would point it out, I would <laughs> My head would go down and then my face would get even more red. I don't think I ever would have gone like that red at somebody like making fun and doing that sort of stuff. Like kind of like middle school behavior where we were like, oh ha ha and saying like stupid jokes. Like I would have done that and like laughed and done that stuff in middle school and like freshman year. However, with like random people. However, like when I went back, it just like, <laughs> I don't know why, but like I couldn't. I just got so anxious and yeah, so that was something. Um, still missed a lot of school. And then let's move on to senior year because nothing really happened in junior year. Senior year was basically like junior year, except I was just so over it. Like even junior year, I was over it, but like senior year, I was so ready to get out that I was just like, I didn't really care about anything. Um, just getting out and like graduation. <laughs> Um, and then college, I decided last minute to go to a commuter school, which basically means it's harder to make friends. And because in like a... Last minute, I changed the college I was going to because um, <laughs> I got really nervous, especially on like orientation day where you have to actually go to school and stay overnight. And I was just freaking out the whole entire time and then I just changed to a commuter school um, which means it is kind of harder to make friends because everyone is just kind of like in and out and you know all the classes are different so like you only see this one person in like twice a week for like two hours and the teacher's talking 90% of the time so you have to just have little conversations and little 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 conversations every single day for like a few weeks to make a friend and that is something I've never been good at. <laughs> I do think that if I went to a college um like a university like and I went away and I dormed there I honestly do think that I would have been forced to kind of be social and to be um I don't know, probably would have made some friends. However, I'm not mad at it. You know, I saved a bit of cash. Um, however, it does kind of scare me and make me sad that I could have <laughs> done that and 
in my life would have been might have been happier i just always love to think about the possible like all the possibilities <laughs> of my life that brings us to today which is march 2024 these are i think like the biggest things i'm anxious about like i have this presentation at the end of the semester um which is an oral presentation by myself <laughs> i'm nervous about because i haven't done a presentation by myself in college yet my second thing i'm anxious about is doing adult stuff like getting prescriptions and going through drive throughs going to stores by myself i'm also anxious about like random things like if there's like i need to schedule an appointment with my advisor i'll wait till the last minute or if there's like a question i need to ask my teacher i won't like i won't email them and i'll just say screw it you know i'll get a zero like i do stupid stuff like that and i just kind of like avoid it and um pay the cost <laughs> i don't know i just want to be saying that i'm doing it more like i want to get my prescription this month but basically my goal for that is just like doing it more and instead of like waiting on it then actually like doing stuff like emails and making appointments and that stuff um so i want like in two months to actually be saying that i'm like okay i'm doing it more than i was even though it's probably not law and as much as i should i'm still doing it more than what i was in march of 20. 24. So next is I want to ask out more people, like make more plans um, with my friends. Um, so the next like two months is just like school. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, so I want to try to like make at least like a few like plans and just ask people out more than what I'm doing right now and also make plans for the summer. Next thing is I want, what am I talking about? Oh, so peer work. This thing this is probably the one where I I don't like peer work <laughs> because um so like there's this one class that I absolutely hate um because we have to peer read other people's papers and I will do the assignment last minute because I get anxious you know and then I will do the I will literally just think about it instead of doing it and then I won't do it and then since I didn't do it, I say I don't have to go, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so then I mess myself up. Um, so instead of that, I want to make sure I'm going up with my classes and actually go into these peer things. Um, I'm just getting there and saying, screw it, you know, I don't care what this person thinks. <laughs> At least once. And then I'll let all my anxious thoughts go, but I just want to say that and then get there and then I can, you know, let whatever happens. So I just want to make sure... I'm going to all I'm just want to make sure that I'm going to all my classes and um going to things that make me anxious instead of skipping them and waiting till last minute just like kind of like before like instead of um thinking about it and it's like when I have an assignment that I'm anxious for like I'm getting ready to do a presentation or I'm getting ready to write something that I know is going to be like peer read and we're going to have to like share um, just thinking about like the moment where I'm gonna have to share it and getting all anxious. Um, just like saying, okay, I'm gonna do the assignment. I don't care if it's good. I'm just gonna get it done. And then after I can think about all that stuff so I can at least have the assignment done so that when it comes, I can get my butt in there. I also said I wanted to talk more in class because like I said, like I only talk like once every like two weeks when I'm feeling good. Um, and then I don't so I just want to like push myself to at least like have like one little conversation each time or at least like mm, Twice or once a week and just do at least more than what I'm doing now So these are the things that I'm anxious about and my goals for the next two month, months But yeah, so those are my goals for the next few months. So when I see you guys in May 2024 I'm going to be talking about how I accomplish this go these goals <laughs> and um, talking about the things that make me anxious then because I'm going to be out of school and I'm going to be anxious about a lot of different things then and I'll be talking about like the progress I've made and what I've done. Thank you for watching today's video. Um, I hope this has helped you in some way. I don't know. Thank you for listening. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll see you guys in two months, but I'll see you guys every single Tuesday. Till then, and after then. Remember that. Bye.